your holistic guardian with the second phase of the vagal nerve. We find that God has given us this nerve that interacts with most of the parts of our body and in responding with them we can find healing mechanisms that will help us in many many different situations. So we're going to talk about how we get this help from this vagus gland nerve <laughs> and it has to be stimulated. Of course we haven't heard anyone talk about stimulating the vagus gland because no one wants us to know that we can heal ourselves well without their help. It takes away from their finances. There's a way to stimulate the vagal gland and doctors use a stimulator and that stimulator has to be put inside you, operated and put inside you and then it activates the vagal nerve when it's needed. But God has a better plan for us, a more natural plan. When you have a asthma attack or an attack with the uh, migraines or you have uh, pains in your legs, arms, knees or whatever and you need some relief, instead of using that inner part that doctors have planted in you with great cost, God has simple natural plans for us that are not invasive, that are all natural. And one is to wash your face in cold water. Seems simple, but God's things are simple. Or take a cold shower. This will stimulate your vagus nerve. You can touch your lips because your lips has a lot of nerves in it. Touching your lips can, can really help you when you are nervous, anxious, having problems with something. If you are multitasking, slow down. Slow down. You don't have to wash the dishes and run the sweeper and put clothes in the uh, washing machine and uh, holler at the kids. Slow down. Just take it easy. I have a friend that always tells me, be patient. Slow down. <laughs> Which is good. I need that help. <laughs> Uh, visualization. Visualize things. Think on things that are good. You know, the, our thinking is great help to us. God tells us what to think on. He tells us in his word. Laughter. When you laugh, that helps you. That helps your body all over. And God gives us this way of getting our vagal nerve to be stimulated. Social gathering. We've been stopped from the social gathering because of the virus, but this is one of the things that God has for us so that we can have a healthy vagal nerve. Some have stopped going to worship, but some have not. And this is one of God's ways. So let's think about that. Being grateful. God wants us to be grateful and to pray. Prayer helps everything. When you pray, that can alleviate a lot of tensions from your mind. Trusting in God and prayer. Meditate, thinking on good things. Singing or humming. This is something that stimulates that vagal nerve. And God likes singing. Singing, making melody in your heart to the Lord and just being godly. As I was going through these things, did you recognize any of these things as being something that God wants us to do? As Christians, these are the things that God wants us to do, and if we do these things, he will help us to be well. I have many scriptures that I want to share with you, and if you have a pen and paper, you can write these down and let these help you to have a better feeling in your body. Philippians 4.8 says righteous, tells us of righteous thinking. These are all summarized. Righteous thinking. God tells us to think on certain things. And when you're thinking on good things, certain things that are good, it helps your body. 
Proverbs 23 and 6 says, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Don't have these negative thoughts because you'll get negative results. Philippians 5, 19, sing. Singing, making melody in your heart. How can you sing and be nervous and anxious and hurting a lot? If you're hurting and you start singing, it can just really change your mentality. It can change your body and help you to start thinking about good things and healing. Hebrews 10, 25. Not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is. When you assemble, God gives you healing because you are obeying what he says. Romans 5, 3 through 5, and James 1, 1 through 4, rejoice, rejoicing even in circumstances that are difficult. We still rejoice. E Ephesians 5, 20, and 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, giving thanks. Giving thanks in all circumstances. I don't know if I said that before older you know <laughs> okay Colossians 3 17 do everything in the spirit of gratitude be grateful always be grateful Colossians 3 15 be thankful for the peace you have a lot of peace now you're probably not working you're at home but use that time to be with the Lord and you will get peace not thinking on negative things like what am I going to eat or where am I going to go in this the Lord said he'll take care of you in famine we don't have famine everybody has something to eat and if you are looking at me now you have technology you've got things to be grateful for okay uh, in 1 Thessalonians 5 6 through 18 it says pray without ceasing in everything, give thanks. In everything. In difficulties, in wants and needs, pray and give thanks. And you'll get what you need. The Lord will supply all your needs if you're doing his part. He has conditions for things. You can't just get everything. You have to do what he says first. Then he'll, he'll give it to you. Righteous thinking, singing. Assembling together, showing gratitude, and praying. These things are all some of the things that God uses to heal us. God's healing is not visible. It's not taking pills or taking injections or having surgeries and all this. His healing is invisible. He created our bodies so that they can heal it's themselves, just like he created the animals and the, and the trees and everything. They heal themselves. He put that within us all. Second Peter 1 and 3 says, His divine power has given us everything we need. He hasn't left anything out. Everything we need for life and for godliness. If we finish out the sentences, it says, Through the knowledge of Him. You've got to know Him and what he wants you to do. Him who has called you to glory and virtue. So God has put in us the mechanisms that we need for our bodies. We can diagnose things. He's given us a prescription. He's told us what to do. These things that we, we can do in, in the service to the Lord. He's given us instructions. It's our part to follow his instructions. Be well, think on these things, and be grateful, be grateful. Till next time, your holistic guardian. Bye-bye.